Welcome back to our channel, where we discuss energy and power infrastructure projects from around the world. Today, we're taking a closer look at South Africa's electricity crisis and exploring the reasons behind the ongoing power outages in the country. We will also discuss some possible solutions. If you are new here, please consider subscribing for more videos about energy and power infrastructure projects around the globe. And, please don't forget to click on the like button. Clicking on the like button do help support the channel. Background South Africa has been experiencing a severe electricity crisis for over a decade. This crisis has led to rolling blackouts, load shedding, and power outages, causing widespread frustration among businesses and households. In this video, we will delve into the reasons behind this electricity crisis, its impact on the economy, and potential solutions. What is the source of South Africa energy? The primary sources of energy in South Africa are coal, oil, gas, and nuclear power. Coal is the most significant source of energy, accounting for approximately 70% of the country's electricity production. South Africa has vast coal reserves, which are mostly located in Mpumalanga and Limpopo provinces. Oil and gas are mainly imported, with oil accounting for approximately 25% of the country's primary energy supply. Natural gas is limited and is primarily used in the country's chemical industry. South Africa has one nuclear power plant, the Coburg Nuclear Power Station, which is located near Cape Town and provides approximately 5% of the country's electricity. Renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power, are becoming increasingly important, but still only account for a small percentage of South Africa's energy mix. How much energy does South Africa need? According to the Integrated Resource Plan, South Africa's electricity demand is projected to grow at an average of 1.3% per year from 2019 to 2030. The IRP outlines a total installed generation capacity target of 61,600 MW by 2030 to meet the projected electricity demand. However, the current installed capacity is approximately 47,000 MW, and there is an estimated supply-demand gap of around 5,000 MW during peak demand periods. This shortfall has led to frequent power outages and load shedding, which has had severe impacts on the country's economy and society. Now, let's look at causes of South Africa's energy crisis and possible solutions. Causes Over-reliance on coal and poor maintenance Eskom, which is responsible for providing the majority of South Africa's electricity, relies heavily on coal-fired power stations that are aging and unreliable. Many of these power stations are over 40 years old and require frequent maintenance, resulting in regular power outages and load shedding. In addition, these power stations are responsible for significant greenhouse gas emissions contributing to South Africa's high carbon footprint. The reliance on coal-fired power stations is also hindering the country's transition to cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, such as renewable energy. The South African government has recognized this issue and has set targets to increase the share of renewable energy in the country's energy mix. However, progress has been slow due to various challenges such as policy uncertainty, regulatory barriers, and ESCOM's financial constraints. Insufficient investment Another key factor contributing to South Africa's electricity crisis is insufficient investment in new power infrastructure. The country's power demand has been growing steadily over the years, but the government has failed to keep up with this demand by investing in new power plants and transmission lines. This has resulted in a significant gap between supply and demand, which is further worsened by the aging infrastructure. Monopoly and lack of competition there has historically been a monopoly in South Africa's energy supply, with the state-owned entity Eskom holding a dominant position in the country's electricity market. Eskom has been responsible for generating, transmitting, and distributing electricity in South Africa for over 90 years and still supplies the majority of the country's electricity. However, the South African government has taken steps to introduce competition and diversify the energy market in recent years. The Independent Power Producer Program, which was launched in 2011, allows private sector companies to generate and sell electricity to ESCOM. This has enabled the development of new renewable energy projects and increased private sector participation in the energy sector. While ESCOM still dominates the energy market in South Africa, the introduction of competition and new regulatory measures aim to promote a more diversified and efficient energy sector in the country. Corruption Corruption has also played a role in South Africa's electricity crisis. The state-owned power utility, ESCOM, has been plagued by corruption scandals over the years, with allegations of mismanagement and embezzlement of funds. This has resulted in a lack of accountability and transparency, which has hampered efforts to address the underlying issues within the company. Impact on economy and society The ongoing electricity crisis in South Africa has had a significant impact on the economy and society. With businesses unable to operate at full capacity, job losses have become commonplace, while households have had to resort to using generators and other backup power sources, which are often expensive and unreliable. Possible Solutions 
There are several potential solutions to the energy crisis in South Africa. Renewable energy South Africa has excellent solar and wind resources, and increasing investment in renewable energy could help to reduce the country's reliance on fossil fuels and provide a more sustainable source of electricity. Energy efficiency Improving energy efficiency in buildings, industries, and transport could help to reduce energy demand and save money on electricity bills. This could be achieved through the use of more efficient technologies, better insulation, and more efficient appliances. Gas to power, South Africa has significant natural gas resources, and developing these resources could provide a reliable source of electricity and reduce the country's dependence on coal. Nuclear energy, although controversial, some argue that nuclear energy could provide a reliable and relatively clean source of electricity. However, this would require significant investment and careful management of nuclear waste. Independent power producers, allowing independent power producers to generate and sell electricity could help to increase competition in the energy sector and provide a more diverse range of energy sources. Energy storage, developing energy storage technologies, such as batteries, could help to address the problem of intermittent renewable energy sources and provide a more reliable source of electricity. Overall, there is no one-size-fits-all solution to the energy crisis in South Africa. Instead, a combination of measures will be needed to address the country's energy challenges and provide a more sustainable source of electricity for the future. South Africa's electricity crisis is a complex issue that is the result of poor maintenance, insufficient investment, and corruption within the country's power sector. Addressing these underlying issues will be crucial for resolving the crisis and ensuring that South Africa has a stable and reliable supply of electricity for years to come. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on energy and power infrastructure projects from around the world.